Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. There I am, my picture on the back of the Draw With Rob activity book, the first Draw With Rob activity book. I know a lot of you have got this book because loads of you have sent me pictures of your drawings inside the book, so thank you for that. Now then, just in case you don't know who I am, I am a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my other books. There's this one, which is called Blown Away. All about, look here it says, Up, Up and Away, a Penguin Blue Adventure. This chap is Penguin Blue and it's the story of him and his kite flying adventures on a very windy day. He gets blown away and ends up in a place that penguins aren't usually found. Now maybe if you've been to a bookshop recently, you might have seen my latest book, which is called Dog Gone, which is all about a little pug here whose name is Teddy and look, there he is, he lives in this lovely house here with his pet human called Dave. Now, lots of people think that it is the humans that own the dogs, but I think it might be the other way around. The, the dogs own the humans. And this story here, look, Teddy wakes Dave up and takes him out for a walk, you see. Look, a lovely autumnal walk. <gasps> I'm not gonna tell you what happens on the walk, but the clue is in the title. Look, dog gone. The day I lost my human. So Teddy here loses Dave. And it's a really fun adventure. So check that one out if you like the sound of that. But listen, we are here today, as per usual, to draw a picture together. Now then, I have to think of a new thing to draw, don't I, every week to show you guys. And so, I'm sort of thinking about my favourite animals quite often and one of my very, I know I say all of these drawings, I, I say they're all like one of my favourite animals, don't they? Don't I? But you know what? I just like animals, I guess. But these, the, the animal that we're drawing today is genuinely one of my favourites. I've met quite a few of them because there's a little um, sort of, uh, like one of those little city farms just up the road from us and they have lots of these animals there and you're allowed to hold them in your lap and stroke them. That's right, today we are drawing a tiger. <laughs> not really, that was a joke. You're not allowed to hold tigers in your lap and stroke them, are you? Well, I don't think you are, anyway. No, <laughs> today, I don't know why I attempted that joke. That was an odd decision. Anyway, never mind. Um, <laughs> today, we are drawing a rabbit. I love rabbits. Cute, furry, big ears, twitchy noses, eat carrots, little fluffy cotton tail at the back fun to draw. That's basically what I'm saying here. But I do love rabbits. So I thought today we would draw a little rabbit together. Now, you might not have seen any of these Draw With Rob videos before. We've done lots and lots of them. There's over 50 on uh, my YouTube channel, so you can check them out there and on my website. They're free to watch, so feel free to go back and have a look at them. But this is how they work. Well, first of all, I should tell you why I started recording them. I started recording them at the beginning of lockdown because I thought lots of you might be stuck at home looking for things to do. So when I do my live events, I always do a draw along thing. So I stand at the front of the stage with my big sketch pad and I do a little bit of drawing on my sketch, sketch pad and then all the children in, in the audience, they copy what I do, then I draw a bit more, then they draw. So I just figured it would work quite well if I filmed myself doing that. So lots of people, they say they don't think they can draw, but the truth is everybody can draw. You just need to know which order to do the drawing in. So that's where I come in. So. You can watch me do a little bit of the drawing here on my piece of paper. Press the pause button, copy exactly what I do. Restart the video, I'll draw a little bit more. Pause it again, copy what I do. Then I can draw more, then you can copy. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And then in about half an hour's time, something like that, you will end up, trust me, you will end up with a lovely drawing of your own. So that's it, that's how it works. All you need really is a piece of paper and something to draw with, a pen or a pencil. And then a bit later on, we're gonna do a bit of coloring. So you might wanna find some colored pencil, something like that. But shall I stop talking and shall we start drawing? Yes, does that sound like a good idea? It does, right. Okay, so we are gonna start our drawing today. Oh, don't know if you can see that. These pens, so I use these pens, right? They're made by a company, a Japanese company called Kuretake and they're brush pens, okay? but they're really lovely. But do you know what happens to them? They go blunt, like a pencil. I don't know if you can see the end of that, but it's, it's not very sort of, doesn't go to a point, it's sort of rounded, which means that one's gone a bit blunt. I've used it too much. So hang on, let's have a look, see if this one's any better. That's a bit better. See, can you see? It's a little bit sharper, isn't it? And I like it when the pens are sharp, because that means 
you can get a really, really thin line with the end of the pen. So there we go. That was probably way too much information for you, but never mind. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm, making <laughs> I'm saying some very strange things. Never mind, never mind. Right, let's start, shall we? Right, so in the middle of your piece of paper, I want you to start with a sort of arch shape like that. So like a lowercase n shape, okay? Nice, easy start. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is from the bottom right hand uh, end of your little lowercase n shape, I want you to come out and start to curve around just a little bit like that. Then I want you to do exactly the same on the other side, but a mirror image version like that. Okay. Now, we are going to join this point and this point up, and we're going to come all the way down here and around, but we're not going to do it in a straight line. We're going to do it a little bit sort of zigzaggy because we want to make this particular part of our rabbit drawing look a little bit furry. So then when we get to the bottom, we can go in a straight line, but we just want these two sides to look a little bit furry, okay? Now then, right in the middle of our shape here, I want you to draw, it's sort of like a square, but with sort of rounded corners. So like a sort of, something like, basically, it's something in between a square and a circle. So that sort of shape, okay? Then, I want you to draw a straight line up through the middle, but I want you to stop before you get to the top, like that. And then, I want you to go off to one side and off to another side. So you make a sort of V shape at the top there. Then either side of our line, in these spaces here, I want you just to draw four little dots in a diamond formation, like that. You might get to guess which part of our rabbit this is. If you haven't guessed already, this next bit will be a dead giveaway. What I want you to do, I want you to, this little thin line here, I want you to carry that down a little way to about there. We don't want to go to the bottom of our shape here, but we want to go a little bit further down than it is already, like that. Then at the bottom of that, I want you to draw a small horizontal line. And then from each end of that, we're going to draw a straight line. It joins back up with that squarey, circularly shape thing that we drew. And can you see now, this is our rabbit's nose. These are our rabbit's teeth. These are our rabbit's little sort of whiskery bits. These are our rabbit's nice chubby furry cheeks. And this bit is the top of our rabbit's head. So there we go, everything starts to sort of come together, doesn't it? And make a recognizable drawing. Okay, let's wake our rabbit up now. Now, quite often I draw my eyes, I draw circles, don't I, with little pupils in the middle, but today we are just gonna draw two little dots, quite close together and quite near to our rabbit's nose. So it's a slightly different look and feel for this particular character here. You don't always have to draw characters in the same way, you see, you can mix it up a bit. I like to do that sometimes. So there we go, cute little eyes. Let's add some eyebrows to make our rabbit look quite jolly. And do you remember my little trick? You add the eyebrows a long way above the eyes and it makes him look a little bit happier. Speaking of looking happy, it's quite difficult to make this rabbit smile because his mouth or her mouth, they're sort of hidden up behind that nose. But you know what? If you just add two little curved lines coming out of the side of the nose bit, it sort of makes, it gives it the illusion that our rabbit is smiling because they're the sort of little cheek bits, the little dimply bits where he or she is smiling, you see. So there we go, a little trick there to make our rabbit look a bit happier. Okay, now then, should we do the ears now? Yeah, let's do the ears now. I sometimes like to leave those bits to the end because they're sort of my favourite bits to draw, the sort of the signature parts of an animal are my favourite bits to draw, but... I think we can do the ears now. We've got another little bit of the rabbit, which is a signature part, and we can do that later on. So let's draw, draw the ears. Right, we're gonna start. Imagine a line, imagine if we carried on that line right up to the top of his head. So the middle of the head is about there. Just to the left of center, I want you to draw pretty much a straight line up, about that far. 
so a similar length to the head up again. Then when we get to the top, we're gonna to change our minds, we're gonna turn around, and we're gonna head back to where we started, but we're not gonna join up where we started, we're just gonna leave a little gap like that to make a nice rabbit ear shape. And then what we're gonna draw is exactly the same shape, but just a bit smaller and a little bit thinner with a thinner line. And we're gonna do it just inside, and that is gonna be the lining. I don't know, I always call it the lining, don't I? But I don't know what you call it, but it's the sort of the inside part of our rabbit's ear. Now then, if you want, you can draw exactly the same over here to sort of mirror image of it. But I'm gonna do something a little bit more daring, a little bit more tricky, just because it might give our rabbit a little bit more character. So what I want you to do, I want you to draw, remember how we started with that sort of straight line. I want you to do the same again, but we're just gonna do it about half as long, okay? Like that. And then when we get to there, we are gonna do another line coming down at an angle like that. Because so we're gonna do this here sort of folded over a bit. So we're gonna come down at an angle like that, then we're gonna do a little curve, similar sort of size to there, like that. And then we're gonna head back up to near where we started, like that. Then when we get to about there, we're just gonna go straight across and join back up again. Then if we add another line going from the same distance from there to there, from there to there, and we're just gonna join up with a little folded part of the ear, and then we do that little thin lining there, and look, our rabbit's ear has sort of flopped forward. Little floppy ears, haven't they, rabbits? Okay, this is good, this is looking nice so far. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is just below the right hand edge of the teeth, so about here, I want you just to put your pen half a centimeter below the chin, okay, that's where we're gonna start, and we are gonna draw, it's like a U shape, but it's been, so a U shape would be like that, but we've sort of knocked it over a bit, like that. See what I mean? Then, from halfway up this side of the U shape, I want you to draw a straight line that just joins up with our rabbit's chin, like that. Then I want you to imagine that that line goes through the chin and carries on out of the other side. And I want you to carry the shape on and around. And then I want us to take it all the way back past that lopsided U shape to about there. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing all over the place. Then, I think we should change direction sharply and head back up to our U shape and join it up there. So these lines should sort of almost line up. Okay, can you guess what it is that we are drawing right now? What do rabbits like? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you yet. Okay, now in this area here, I want you to draw lots of sort of almost like fingers, like that, sticking out of the top of this shape here. Look, come on, you can tell what that is now, can't you? That's right, our rabbit is holding a carrot. Of course he is, or she is. So this bit here, this lopsided U, of course, was our rabbit's arm and paw. Now then, we need to draw the rest of our rabbit's body. So what I want you to do is just above that paw, we're gonna draw a curved line, but we're gonna add some of those sort of zigzagginess things that we did here on the cheeks, just to make our rabbit look extra furry. Then I want you to imagine that continues through our carrot to about there, and then we're gonna draw a nice horizontal line. Then the left-hand end, end of that line, we're gonna go up and across. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna join up with our little carrot shape here. And this is gonna be one of our rabbit's little paws. Then from the middle top of this paw here, we are gonna draw a curved line there. That's gonna be our rabbit's tummy. And then the other side of that tummy, we're gonna draw another paw, exactly the same as the first one, just like that. And look, it's a little sitting down rabbit. Let's add some little claws here, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. You can even add three here, one, two, three. And look, 
That is cute. Do you know what? We might even want to add just a little tiny line there that just suggests this part of his body is joining up with his chin. And the last thing to do, do you remember I said there was another signature part of a rabbit's body apart from the ears? That's right, it's the little fluffy cotton tail, isn't it? So what I want you to do is a nice big circle, but not just a smooth circle. We're gonna do it with our little jaggedy bits again to make it look nice and fluffy and furry. There we go. Lovely, fluffy cotton tail for our rabbit who's holding a nice big carrot. And that's pretty much our rabbit outline finished. So do you know what? I would say this is one of our slightly trickier drawings. It's been a little bit fiddly in places, hasn't it? A little bit difficult for me to, to describe <laughs> some of these parts, but I hope you've managed to follow along all right. And now is the fun bit because we are gonna get to color in our little cute rabbits. Now, you know my thoughts on this. You can do your rabbit any color you like. Lots of rabbits, I mean, they're all sorts of different colors, aren't they rabbits? So lots of them are gray. Lots of them are white or, or black or kind of brown. But you know what? Who's to say there isn't a bright pink rabbit with yellow spots somewhere? We don't know, do we? There might be one. So I think you should just go crazy. Do whatever you like. You can even color your carrot another color to orange. Who knows? I think you can get carrots that are different colors, actually. Heritage carrots. So I think you should just go crazy. I'm gonna go into super speed mode to color mine in as per usual. So I'm gonna see you back here in about 30 seconds time, okay? So grab your colored pencils and let's go, shall we? Ready? Three, two, one, go. So there we go, there's my coloured in rabbit. I've gone for a rather nice shade of blue. I thought that went well with the little pink bits here, the pink nose and the pink ear lining. Nice with the orange carrot there. You can see I've added a bit of shading, made little bits darker like underneath his chin and I've sort of rounded out this area a bit here and, and the tail as well just to make it look rounded. And where our ear folded over, can you see I've just sort of shaded it a little bit darker underneath the fold because then that makes it look a little bit more sort of three dimensional where the fold is. And similarly on the carrot, I've done a bit of darker shading on the bottom half of the carrot and added in some little lines for a little bit of texture, you see. So there's all sorts of little tricks you can do with the colouring to make your drawing look more sort of three dimensional. Now then, the last thing that we've got to do to our drawing, and sometimes I've been forgetting to do this recently, which is a bit silly of me, isn't it? We need to sign our drawings here, so I'm going to write my name just here. There we go. Rob. So sign your picture so that everybody knows who created the fabulous works of art that you have produced. Now then, speaking of works of art, I would like to see your works of art. So I wonder if you could ask your grown up or somebody to take a picture of your drawing. And then when they've taken a picture, they could post it on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob. And that way I will get to see it. If you're watching on Facebook, you can always add your drawing in the comments underneath. If you're watching on YouTube, then you can repost the drawing on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, something like that. That way I'll get to see it. Don't forget to press that subscribe button down there. We all want you to subscribe to our channel. Then you will get notifications when new videos go up, that sort of thing. Now listen, I'm giving you longer for the grid at the moment. So this drawing should be posted on a Saturday. You're gonna to have till the following Friday to send your pictures to me and then I am gonna compile the grid of all of your rabbit drawings then. So you've got a bit more time to do that. Also, I know lots of you watch at school, in your classes at school. So we are introducing a new feature called Class of the Week. And what happens is, if you can get your teacher or somebody to take a picture of you all holding up your drawings that you've done together in class, that would be fabulous. If for whatever reason you don't want your pictures on social media, then you can just put all your drawings on the floor and take a picture of all the drawings together. I would love to see that. And then I will choose one class that will be the class of the week and I'll put a picture of them up on probably on the Friday too, I would imagine. 
So there we go. A rabbit, a cute little rabbit. I hope you've all enjoyed drawing this little rabbit with me today. I've really enjoyed showing you how to draw it. I'm gonna be back in a week's time with a brand new Draw With Rob video. Until then, take care of yourselves, everybody. Keep on drawing and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone. to see me that soon did you <laughs> i hope you really enjoyed that video that you've just watched i can't wait to see the drawings that you've done don't forget to share them using the draw with rob hashtag i just wanted to pop up here and remind you that the draw with rob activity book is out now if you would like to grab yourself a copy you can get it from wherever you get books from and it's full of really cool things for you to do coloring pages lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters that we've done on these videos here and there's a little frame for you to draw your pictures in, perforated edge so you can tear the picture out easily and stick it up on the wall. But there's loads of really cool things for you to do. As I said, coloring pages, um, little thing. I started drawings off and you've got to finish them, that kind of thing. And then right at the end, if you go through the book and you really enjoy yourself, look, there's even your very own certificate to stick up on your wall to say that you are officially an ace artist. So there you go, that book is available now. I'll stick a link somewhere in the post or on the YouTube page for you if you are interested in buying it. In the meantime, this time I really am going. I'll see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care.